bullied and then beaten in his high school classroom. The attack posted on social media. That's what a freshman with autism endured this school year, targeted by two other students with special needs. His mother says the school didn't do enough to help. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff explains in this original report. Ooh, I just felt helpless. Like. Roshan Bowling's freshman year at Proviso West High School was clearly painful. Were you afraid to go to school? Yeah, I was. His mom says her son, who has autism, was bullied since the start of the school year, mostly by two other special needs students. Like calling him slow or special ed. Then in February, one of those boys walked into Roshan's classroom, refused to leave, and punched him. Another student shot it on his phone and put it on Snapchat. Are you just sitting in your chair? Yeah, I was just sitting in my chair, and I don't bother nobody, like, at all. When you saw that video? I, I was, I was very afraid. It happened five months after Sharita Bowling says she began reporting the bullying, which included social media taunts and threats, to Proviso West administration. There were calls, visits, and even more emails to administrators telling them, I just don't want Roshan to be in fear at school. It was addressed from the very beginning, my concerns, and it feels like it was just swept under the rug. In emails, it's clear the school took some steps to intervene, but never separated the alleged bullies from Roshan, which Bowling says she requested. Regarding the attack, a District 209 spokesperson says it was addressed by administering the appropriate disciplinary measures, restorative practices, and behavioral health interventions. But Bowling had enough and pulled Roshan out. It's just unacceptable, and I pray going forward that they would take these matters more seriously. Roshan just started at his new school today. Bowling says she also wanted charges to be filed, but Hillside's police chief tells me because both boys are juveniles with no prior record and because it happened at school, Proviso West would handle the discipline. Robin Erica. So it seems like the police department is giving the school a lot of leeway discretion here to decide what punishment is necessary even with the, what the mother's saying. Well, yeah, and actually a juvenile officer would have to get involved, and because, again, they don't have a record, they likely will not. Okay, thank you, Dana.